Unit 15. What are you doing later? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well. Maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Page 100. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet for dinner? After the exhibit, do you want to go to the Korean house for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around seven. Look, there's Garrett. Maybe he can join us. Yeah. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing tomorrow after class? Do you want to go to a photo exhibit with me and Mike? Then dinner at the Korean house? We're meeting at five. Oh, I have class till 6.30, but why don't I meet you for dinner later? Can you text me the address? Sure. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a party. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not doing anything. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to see a play. Are they going to see the photo exhibit? Yes, they are going to see it. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Page 102. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Page 102. Exercise 7. Part B. Listen to three other phone calls. Write the caller's names. One. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Vanessa. Are you in class yet? No, not yet. Is everything okay? I think I have the flu. I can't go to class today. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to rest. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm sick? Of course. I'm sure he'll understand. Feel better, Vanessa? Two. Hello? <coughs> Caitlin, it's Scott. Oh, no. Are you sick, too? Yeah, I feel terrible. I'm not going to class. Well, you're not the only one. Hey, Rob isn't answering his phone. Would you ask him to call me after class? He has my book. Of course. Feel better, Scott. 
three. Hello? Hey, Caitlin. Hi, Danny. Don't tell me that you're sick, too. No, I feel fine. Great. So, what's going on? I'm having car trouble, so I'm running late to class. Can you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm gonna be about 20 minutes late? Oh, good. I'm not gonna be the only one in class. Sure, I'll tell him. Page 103. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Formal and informal messages with tell and ask. Statements. I'm going to miss class tonight. Messages with a statement. Tell. Please tell him I'm going to miss class. Please tell him that I'm going to miss class. Could you tell him that I'm going to miss class? Could you tell him I'm going to miss class? Would you tell him that I'm going to miss class? Would you tell him I'm going to miss class? Requests. Could she take a picture of the board? Messages with a request. Ask. Ask her to take a picture of the board. Please ask her to take a picture of the board. Could you ask her to take a picture of the board? Would you ask her to take a picture of the board? Page 104. Exercise 10. Pronunciation. Reduction of could you and would you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how could you and would you are reduced in conversation. Could you tell him I'm gonna miss class? Would you ask him to call me after class? Page 104. Exercise 11. Listening. I'm going to be late. Listen to four people leaving messages. Who is the message from? Who is it for? What is the message? Complete the chart. 1. Hi, John. Where are you? Class is starting soon. I know. I missed the bus, so I'm going to be late. But we're giving our class presentation today. Don't worry. Did you tell the teacher that I'm going to be late? We can do our presentation at the end of class. Okay, but hurry up. 2. Hi, Samantha. Hi, William. Martin asked me to call him today, but he's not answering his phone. Is he in the office? Yes, but he's in an important meeting. Oh, well, when he's free, would you ask him to call me? Yes, of course. Thank you, William. 3. Hi, Ryan. Where are you? Hi, Amanda. We're on Main Street. We just passed the high school. The high school? Oh, you've gone too far. Sorry. Jennifer's never driven to your house before. No problem. Could you tell her to turn around and turn left on Summer Street? Okay, Amanda. No problem. See you soon. 4. Hi, Brittany. What's up? Hi, Brandon. I'm calling to see if you and Emily would like to come to our house for dinner tomorrow night. Thanks. I'd love to go, but Emily might be working late tomorrow. Well, when you see her, could you tell her that I invited you both? Sure. I hope we can come.